Hello and welcome to Ekrem Fomit. The following series of videos aim to educate on some of the techniques used to reduce an anterior shoulder dislocation. While there are various different techniques, we are going to focus on the most commonly used techniques in the emergency department. So, the first part will be about traction counter traction. This is one of the most common used techniques in the emergency department to reduce anterior shoulder dislocation. For this technique, you will need an extra hand to assist you during the procedure, a bed sheet to rub the P right around the patient's chest, and an opposite direction traction around the patient. During this procedure, we will ask the patient to lie down while applying the rub around his chest. We will ask the other assistant to apply counter traction while applying traction to the affected shoulder. After successfully reducing the shoulder, we'll put the patient in arm sling. Next technique is called Milch technique. In this technique, again you will ask the patient to be in supine position, resting his arm on your hand. By this hand, you will be supporting his elbow and applying traction, while by the other hand, you will be applying rotation, external rotation movement and abduction. In this technique, you will be holding the patient from his elbow and keeping it flexed at 90 degree you will apply traction by this hand while by the other hand you will be applying external rotation and abduction until you reach 90 degree next technique is called FAST which stands for fast, reliable and safe technique. In this technique, you will be asking the patient to lie supine with his elbow extended and in adducted uh, position. You will be applying traction with a small oscillating movement to relax the shoulder. Most reductions get reduced between 90 and 120 degree. Okay. In this technique, you will ask the patient to have his elbow fully extended in abduction position. Then you will apply traction with some oscillation movement to help relaxing the shoulder. You will adapt the shoulder slowly while applying traction until you reach 90 degree. Then you will do an external rotation and continue doing the same. Most dislocations get reduced uh, between 90 and 120 degree. For the next technique, it's called Cunningham procedure. During the cooling hand, you will ask the patient to be in sitting position. You will apply pressure massage over the trapezius muscle, the deltoid, and the biceps, while applying continuous traction on the elbow. The aim of the procedure is to relax the muscles of the affected side and reduce the shoulder. For this technique, I will ask the patient to support his hand on my shoulder while applying pressure on the affected side. Then. I will massage his trapezius, deltoid, and bicep muscle. While applying continuous pressure, the patient will gently do an upward, backward, up, trying to achieve the reduction of the shoulder dislocation. The next maneuver will be called Davis technique. During this maneuver, we'll ask the patient to do the following. We'll wrap his hands in front of the knee of the affected shoulder. Then, we'll ask the patient to slowly lean backwards in aiming to relax the shoulder muscle and in the end to reduce the shoulder dislocation. For this technique, we will instruct the patient to do the following. So we we'll flex his knee of the affected side of the shoulder, we we'll bring his arm in front of the knee while supporting the both palms together. We we'll ask him to extend his palms, we we'll secure them, the bandage. Then, with the support the patient foot and ask him to slightly, slowly lean backward until we achieve a shoulder reduction and relaxation of the muscle.